you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the forces like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Oh no. Roger KGPL. 14 Adam on route. What is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to LA Noir. Last time we did the beginning, we get used to the game. Now we do a little combat. You don't see too. That, that part sounds amazing. You don't see that much combat in this game, thanks, right? And that's why it's fucked up. That's cool. Alright. Take it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. We got some monsters here. I feel like uh, the cars would be more sturdier. Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Enough. Take it slow. No. Backup will be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance to. Chance, copper. <laughs> Did I get shot? I think there's one. That's it. Oh, that's all. We got them all. I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. This is by far by the quickest case you'll Lieutenant do. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. You heard the veterans, the Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? I mean, I love seeing the background story of, you know, his wartime. War Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, but wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Fair. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph. Friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bauer. I put him away before he jumped parole. Uh. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bauer! Stop! LNPD! All right, let's play the running game. We're good at this. So, the goal is we're chasing down. Like I said, the first four quests are, like I said, very basic. They're going to do every little thing, or go over every little thing you'll have to do. Because we went over Howard, fighting, hold it right there. chasing fist fights. Stop now, or I will shoot. And uh, a fourth quest, which we'll do in a Jesus, second. Gun. Watch your fire! You don't want to do this, Wendell. Get down from there right now. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me! 
All right, now we can go. You will get kicked in the face if you get too close. That's not fun. I did that last time, so I'm just gonna skip a step. No matter what you do, you can't catch this guy. There's no way I'm going back inside. So, your best bet is just follow as best as you can. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. We didn't do nothing. You did it to yourself. And here we Give go. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Huh. All that cheap shots, yeah. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. So. You're not good at this fighting thing. Uppercut. How you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership, Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, six. Kowalski, six. Weiss, five. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Kelso sucks. Candidate Kelso! I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This is, this could be the this is your last tutorial quest mission. It goes over the last thing you'll do, which is detective work. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. You guys I'll be with you in a moment. really don't like homicide. Broad daylight. Crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. We got a layaway ticket. I mean, that's something useful. C. Galetta. Layaway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. I wonder what that has to do with anything. I'm not really too worried about this body too much. All we really need to focus on is right there. No, I don't. I still don't want the shiny. Shiny! Shell casings. These look like 32s. Well, that's not fun. But there's a flat out gun in this trash can. I don't know if you saw it from that angle. FN Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. All right. Let's go talk this to this guy. This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. What do you want? You better take a statement. Don't you? Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? 
I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run into the shoe store. Someone walked into the shoe store? Okay. Well. Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. And if you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, of course. And don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. Is that a challenge? If you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. All right, so the game's going to go over the big three things that you need to watch everybody for. Don't you I know the answer with uh, my notes. I'm Officer so. Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. All right, tell me your story. Oh, come on, tell me your... Dang it. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. You're not looking me in the face. So obviously she's not she's lying about something. But we know she has something on her. So we're gonna accuse the witness. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Okay, so this is the remastered version. In the regular version, you're going to hit lie instead of accuse. But we're going to talk about the lightweight voucher. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu, he runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looks very painful. Okay, so who's an idea? Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Mm. As the game says, she still looks like she's not focused on me. So, of course, we're going to be a douche and be a bad cop. And the regular game, you're going to hit, I think it's doubt. Yeah, press X to doubt, like the meme says. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. I hate that answer, but you know, she isn't wrong, especially for the time. It's not okay. It was never okay. Unfortunately, it's still a problem today. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. That sounds legit, though. So we'll be nice to you. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. 
Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my, my, never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Thank you. Let's get out of here. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. All right, so we're going to have him, him drive. Can you drive to this one? But we're going to go to the gun store first. Because I want to figure out more of this gun. Because this gun's a little bit unique. And it has a club that we desperately need. Alright, so... This game is very story rich if you haven't figured that out yet. It's very fun. So before we talk to him, Officer. I want to go downstairs. What can I do you for? Because down here we have our... Oh, it's not going to be here. Crap. Okay. Because I accidentally already grabbed it on my plate by practice runs. Um, it's going to be down here. It's going to be the, the uh, freaking uh, the girl. So, sorry about that. I screwed up. Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his no name. No freak. Thing looks like it never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. Do you know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield Jewelry Store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Well, that was very useful. So, yes, there is a collectible down there. I am sorry. You drive. Um, I need to go over the case notes. We'll worry about... Uh, freak. I had one job, and I failed. So, we'll go ahead and just go ahead and meet Kalu. He sounds like a nice guy. There's no way he's going to do anything bad. Not at all. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Yeah. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! He almost got us. He's actually Kalu. No way. So there's two ways to do this, which is A. Kalu! Tackle get back him. here! Or B, you can use your gun. You want a five-star goddamn wedding. So we're gonna get into a good range. Stop, or I will shoot. Do a warning shot, and he's done. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never saw. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle, I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. 
You've only been with us a short time and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. He does have the traditional World War II veteran's personality. Who's very uptight. And you'll notice that, like, throughout the whole time. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. So let's talk about the argument of Gage. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Uh, had nothing to do with you. That's, that's, a, that's a no. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Actually, we... Well, that person said your name. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. You can't say that. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Do it. Not one to talk about. But we can have a way to execute uh, you. Here. Left wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher. You and that stump Gage. Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Shouldn't have done it. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Or should we? No, I mean, literally, it's the last time we'll do anything with the patrol desk. So... On this note, we did find out that he did, we found their guy, we did all the right stuff. It's going to say pass regardless, but from here on out, we're no longer just an officer. So guys, next time on L.A. Noir, we'll do our first case as a detective. I'll see you then.